heading to Krakow. And to get there, I've got to jump on a train. To be fair, being on this train is probably the only time I'm going to be sitting first class. Hotel doesn't have a front desk and I can't check in for another few hours. So now I'm going to try and find a restaurant with my suitcase and I'll sit there for the next few hours before I can check in. Shout out to the hotel room. As I made that video, I got a message saying that I can check in as the room is clean. Thank goodness for that. It is a couple of hours early, so you guys are legends. Being able to check into that hotel early was, oh man, that has made my day and life so much easier. First thing I'll be doing here in Krakow is getting food. Uh, I also got called out earlier in the last video for, uh, for eating KFC. Krakow, Poland, I will not be doing that, so. Sorry Burger King, sorry Maccas, but unfortunately I won't be eating there. So whatever the Polish bagels are called, just take note if you ever do decide to come here that in the old town centre square, they are 350. If you go two streets out, they are 240. These pigeons remind me of St. Mark's in Venice. Oh my God, there's so many of them. That's crazy. We're gonna head into this market and see if we can find some food in here. All these markets remind me of the ones in Dubai walking through the souks. It's a lot of jewellery. No food. If you want jewellery, this is the place to come. If you want anything outside of jewellery, probably not worth it. Yeah, okay, so the main market in Old Town was a bus for food. We're gonna go get some pasta for lunch. <laughs> Actually, impromptu change of mind. We're gonna get kebabs instead. Off to the next one. Let's find out what's next. I tell you what, the city itself is not even remotely close to the same thing. But this park specifically is very much giving uh, New York vibes. What a cute little walk this is. I said in the last video how much I love Deluga Street and uh, this is very similar. Mr. Bean's looking a bit strange today. This is a very gorgeous old town. The main market square is much bigger than the one in Warsaw and much bigger than the one in Gdansk as well. I'm gonna walk the kilometer it is to get to Bishop's Palace because apparently that building is quite stunning. Okay. I have no idea how, but apparently I walked past it. Alright, let's go. Wow. I don't know what I expected, but this thing is ginormous. Yeah, right. Way bigger than what I... I didn't know what I was expecting, but it's way bigger than whatever I pictured. Yeah, on the GoPro, because it's a wide angle, it looks a lot smaller. But, even still, it's so high. I think it's time for some drone shots. Let's go! I did not know what I was expecting, but it certainly wasn't this. Oh my god. That is magnificent. Oh man, these stairs. I'm not even remotely close to the top. And I'm stuffed. Alright, let's keep going. Wow, what a stunning view that is. Crazy fun fact about Krakow, Poland. You've all heard of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. We've probably all been to several of them. I know there's a fair few of them in Australia and there's plenty of them here in every single city in Europe. Krakow was the first ever UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's incredible that a lot of the original building's still standing as well. So that was um, very unexpected, but thoroughly enjoyed. That is a magnificent few hours to start this part of the trip. It's time for ice cream now. Let's go. 
You can do it. Come on, I hope this guy makes it to the bus. No, no, I can't see the race. I believe in you. Did he get in? Oh, and he's on. Oh no, made it onto the town. Let's go. That was the most enthralling thing that's happened all day. Let's go, we're rooting for your old mate. So all the way back in 1039, almost a thousand years ago for round figures, don't quote me on that, we know it's not a thousand years exactly, but just for the round figures, roughly a thousand years ago, Krakow was actually the capital of Poland. What I don't know is why they changed it. That is a very green building. Why on earth would someone make a green building like that? That is disgusting. Krakow, Poland, you have done some amazing things and you are a very beautiful city, but that building is not it. <laughs> oh my God. I want my ice cream. Okay, so the place that I'm going to is called Tiffany Ice Cream. Let's go. I want my ice cream so bad. I had ice cream for nearly three days. That is a long time. I don't see no ice cream place, but apparently it's on the corner. Oh, it's got a different name, but sure, it's now called Lady Ice Cream. They've changed it. But that's all right, we still want ice cream. You really can't make this stuff up. After the whole dinner extravaganza issue in Gdansk, it's now the middle of the day. Google says it's open. All I want is ice cream. I get there and they're shut for the winter. All I want is ice cream. There's another place 200 meters straight down this road, apparently, that's open. Guys, there's people out the front with ice cream. We know what that means, they are open. Please have three scoops in a cup, please. Thank you. I got my ice cream finally. I will turn the camera off, eat this, and then I'll come back. Let's go. Morning, and uh, it is two days later here in Krakow, Poland, and we have an exciting day ahead. I'm currently heading to the Jewish Square and Jewish Quarters. So before we do get there, just a quick recap of yesterday, which I didn't film. So yesterday I was quite lucky to do a tour of Auschwitz, the, con the concentration camp from uh, the war. Um, and I'm not going to go into too much detail about yesterday, just because it was quite an emotional, quite tough day. Um, and I'm not, I've thought about this a lot, and I'm not physically able to put into words the, uh, the emotions and that, everything that was felt yesterday. Um, so I hope everyone can respect why I'm not going to be talking about that. Yesterday was fantastic for what it was, um, but quite tough and emotional and I'm not going to get into that anymore for this video because I don't feel like it's the right place for it. And most of my videos are pretty chill, pretty blase, pretty relaxed, so on a lighter note, I am super keen for the Jewish quarter, so let's go. Yeah. Alright, it says we're, Google Maps says we're about 500 meters away, so shouldn't be too far. So the building directly behind me was the old Orthodox Jewish synagogue. It is the oldest standing synagogue in all of Poland, which was built in 1407. It's quite remarkable. I just got to the new square here in the Jewish quarters, and there is a lovely market set up, so we're going to go check this out. Let's go. I 
I am so keen to try this. Oh my god. This is amazing. Polish food is amazing. I'm gonna sit here and continue to enjoy this and then walk around after that. Let's go. That is lunch done. Turns out that wasn't tomato sauce either and it was strawberry jam and it was amazing. It was excellent. Five minute walk roughly and I'm heading to a basilica. I do believe that this basilica was built in 1335 as well. So give or take 700 years old and still standing. So it's quite remarkable. Let's go. here at Corpus Christi Basilica. I do believe that's how you pronounce it. I may be off slightly, but let's go check inside. Even though I'm not religious, I always find it amazing walking into churches all around the world and just looking at the aesthetics and uh, that was quite unexpected. I've been into many churches around the world and that was quite stunning, that one. I'm just astounded that this building is 700 years old. I just spent the last hour or so on call with family back home, so I'm now at the castle. But first, time to go get a Polish bagel. All good, you can keep it. <laughs> that is very good. Nice. Now, unfortunately, ticket to the cathedral. I sold out for today. So that is on me for not booking. I'm not too disappointed because I wasn't on my list of things to do here while in Krakow anyway. Let's go see if we can check out the dragons then. I don't know if you need tickets or not, but we'll find out. Well, that sucks. Because we're here in the winter, the dragon's den is actually closed. That is quite annoying. Check out the dragon statue at least, because apparently that breathes out fire every like five or so minutes. fire breathing dragon statue. You don't see that every day in every city. Apparently, I didn't know this, but apparently that is one of the most popular tourist attractions here in Krakow. So there you go. I have thoroughly enjoyed today. The Jewish quarters were by far the standout of today. That was, um, that whole area of town just blew me away. The history of it, what life used to be like there how it changed over time, absolutely worth visiting and spending the time here and yeah, just a magnificent place all in all. So believe it or not, that is a week and a half done here in Poland. Tomorrow we are off to Prague and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's go.